So today we're going to be painting this coral reef in three easy steps for you as I'm applying this. And be sure to watch till the end for bonus tips. And uh, I'm moving my palette knife back and forth. And uh, now that I look at it, I should have added more gray to this overall um, primary color. But it's up to you. But uh, I'm just working this, uh, mixing these colors back and forth, red and the blue. Uh, but you can also use just entirely a white and gray color if you like for your backdrop. So here as a step number one, I'm using the sponge just to see how it looks. And to be honest with you, it didn't really work out for me. I didn't really like the look. So I'm going to switch back to this foam brush, as you can see, just back and forth. Uh, the whole point of it is to make the backdrop as thin as possible as I'm applying this foam brush or any other brush that you have. And just making it sure that everything is smooth and thin. And step number two, as you can see, I'm using this Deco Art uh, satin color that uh, I bought the other day. And just letting my hands do all the motions back and forth. I'm painting the coral here. And these orbs or uh, this uh, bubble looking thing that I'm adding is basically supposed to be eggs that they're releasing every season to try to, you know, part of nature to try to uh, reproduce. And here's the gold color that I am going to add in addition to this uh, satin color here and just kind of eyeballing a little bit and uh, trying to figure out uh, letting my eyes uh, see where it needs to be don't try to go overboard and here's the white that I'm adding on top of this but it was supposed to be a white color actually but I kind of ran out of white so I had to mix it in with other color so it looks like a beige it's a beige color here but uh, you can add white color here and moving on to the red color also from the cool art that I'm using and just putting on here and there. And again, don't try to apply too much here though. It's going to get messy and just kind of seeing where it needs to be here. And Step number three, I'm using this small balloon here to see as I apply pressure uh, what happens here 12 inch by 12 inch canvas is what I'm using here so uh, if you have a bigger canvas you can use a bigger balloon you know try to see I learned this from uh, this great talented artist from uh, on YouTube the other day but I forgot her name sorry about that and the first application didn't quite work out for me so I'm applying additional color so don't be afraid to experiment if things don't work out initially just try at different colors still wet on wet techniques so you can always uh, recover from any perceived mistake but this one looks pretty good right I think I like, kind of like this abstract look of the eggs that I'm going for and now final uh, finally it's all done and we're just gonna amass this and look how clean these lines are because as I said as a bonus tip I'm using a heavy body acrylic paint that's the secret heavy body of course there's other ways to make these uh, masking nice and clean by using a stronger masking tape of course but uh, just applying a thick viscosity paint makes this whole unmasking much more pleasant. So this is the final piece for you that I made. I hope you like it. Of course, you can always uh, try to do a much better job than I did. I'm sure you guys are able to do that. But thank you for watching.